This is Game Chat 1, episode 127. The next chapter of No Man's Sky. Oh boy. You found Game Chat with Buona. Welcome to the show. Now here's your host, Buona McCall, with all the gaming news of this week. Uh, by the way, that's me. Greetings, folks, and welcome to episode 127 of Game Chat with Buona. i got a great show lined up for you. Thank you for coming by and listening today. i got about four stories to talk about for the week of uh, July 25th. Ending July 25th, 2018. And if you, this is your first time to Game Chat with Buona, we talk about the latest news. We try to find some of the better stories to talk about. Not everything. For this past seven days, this is produced every Wednesday. So we go from Wednesday to Wednesday to actually talk about that gaming stuff. This is on iTunes. This is on Google Play. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. We're on probably everywhere you can possibly Listen, I want to thank everybody for listening. Buona.tv slash podcast. I haven't been saying that that much, but that's my landing page where I talk about or where I put all the episodes and stuff like that. Um, this week, I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky. Uh, well, actually, starting yesterday. Uh, before that, I was playing Warframe on my live stream at twitch.tv slash Buona. But we're going to have a couple stories to talk about with No Man's Sky. Uh, if you're into that game or not into that game, maybe you can get some interest out of today's show. All right. Without further ado, let's get it going. <laughs> Story, we're gonna talk. We're gonna <laughs> and for our first story, we're gonna talk. We're gonna <laughs> and for our first story, we're gonna talk about Steam. It's like cranking up a car, but it doesn't actually crank up. We're gonna talk about Steam, and Steam released their new client today to everyone. It's been in beta for quite some time, uh, which has a kind of an overhauled look of the client, and uh, namely with the social features. Uh, a lot of people have been noticing some of the the changes with chat. And the changes with the uh, friends list because uh, they're completely different than what you're probably used to. I know the first thing I noticed when I got the uh, I got the beta client because I've been using it for a little bit because I wanted to ease into it and kind of get used to this whole thing. The first thing I noticed was that the 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 friends list tries to auto group uh, your friends by uh, by game and by activity and that kind of stuff. So it's like some smart filtering going on. But they made the widgets and they made the, you know, a lot of the controls bigger than before. So even if you compress the friends list, it's not going to be as small uh, as it was before. So I immediately start to miss pressure, the skin I use for Steam all the time, you know, which made that a lot better looking than, than it normally would. The other thing you're going to notice is the chat. The chat is very, very uh, Slack slash Discord slash, you know, modern uh, chat clients uh gotta admit steam's chat was getting a little dated so i'm kind of glad that they're actually looking at modernizing a lot of their stuff with some some smart embeds and a lot more 2018 type of things i guess you can call them but this has changed obviously a lot of people are not going to like it at first there's a lot of things i didn't like at first myself um but it, it, it this is from from an article from rock paper shotgun and this is what valve explained you know why they did it it says the new chat broadly makes Steam's chat less clunky in 2003-ish. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is an old piece of software. And I absolutely agree. Uh, kind of what I was just saying. It's like it brings it into 2018 and modernizes it a little bit. Now, you know, the reason why people point to Discord and point to Slack is because they are the forerunners in modern chat clients, you know. They're like IRC 2018 and I'm fighting allergies again. You can probably hear it in my voice. I don't want to cough or sneeze all over the all over the mic. Um, but they're they're the representative clients for for modern chat. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to see Steam updating. Hopefully they'll refine it. Hopefully the skin makers out there will update their skins to, you know, to meet this new client. Hopefully it's still supported. I didn't even look into that because, you know, having the option of having Steam skins is really nice. A lot of people out there don't even know that Steam supports skins, which is kind of, you know, kind of cool, but kind of worrying at the same time, uh, because every time I show my Steam client like by accident or on purpose on my live stream, people are like, how did you make your Steam look like that? People are like going crazy. How did you do that? That looks amazing. Like skins. I'm like, what? I didn't know Steam had skins. 
and the Shirinbu. Lo and behold, I have introduced them to the powerful land of Steam Skins. But check the story out. I got it linked over at Rock Paper Shotgun. They got the details. The Steam's client, new client, new chat update, new friends list update, new social feature stuff has rolled out, excuse me, to everybody. As of today, uh, you'll see your, you'll get a pretty big Steam update. If you weren't in the beta, you're now going to be using this new client. Check it out, guys. And for our next story, we're going to talk about Valve and uh, Steam again. This has to do with bands. Uh, a record has been broken and in the form of bands. 60,000 Steam accounts were banned by VAC or Valve Anti-Cheat on Tuesday, July 17th, making it the largest VAC wave in the platform's history. This article comes by way of PCGamesN.com. Wow. My goodness. This is crazy. It says, but it was on Wednesday morning that uh, the ban hammer really started swinging with 28,411 accounts being banned throughout the day. Nuts. It looks like the wave of, the wave of bans has started to slow down, but I don't think uh, they're talking about that. The VAC system watches over a number of games, including Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Dota 2, the Call of Duty series, and Ark Survival Evolved. Um, and I, man, I think a majority of, of, of these, of these uh, bans probably came by way of Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. We live in a day and age where uh, cheating is just becoming more and more rampant and companies are, you know, Valve, not Valve, but Blizzard uh, has sued some companies in the past. Um, and there's just companies out there that are making money off of selling these cheats to people online. Um, a lot of, and there's a lot of you and include my, I'll include myself in this because I, I'm guilty sometimes. Well, I just assume that it's a kid. Um, I'll assume that it's a, you know, a teenager, I should say, not a kid. Because I call people in their 20s kids these days. That's how old I am. You're just a kid. You're 20 what? <sighs> ah, you're a kid. You're just a young buck. But anyway, um, it's becoming more rampant. Cheating is becoming more rampant. And it's still generally socially unacceptable in gaming. But it's becoming so commonplace that people aren't necessarily shocked anymore. It's just like so and so, <laughs> excuse me, so and so playing Overwatch, some big pro or some big pro playing Counter Strike was caught cheating, or some Korean player was caught cheating, and people are like, oh, well that explains that, and then they move on with that, with their day. It's no longer a shocker. Like, oh no, they were cheating. How could they? You know, it's it's becoming more commonplace. And as you know, anonymity, 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 manamana. Do 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 do. As anonymity is becoming more and more commonplace, kids are more likely to do these things. Uh, some kids even take their parents' credit card. Some kids even have their own money to use it with. And as Bitcoin is becoming more popular, I think a lot of kids and Adults are be are able to generate their own currency and their own money to pay for these cheats to to finance their uh, how do you say winning? Because if you look at the life of a cheater, it's kind of hard to understand the justification. Why would you cheat? Uh, you want to win so bad. <laughs> excuse me. You want to win so bad. That you just absolutely have to break the rules. It's not about getting good. It's about winning. It's not about fun. It's about winning, 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 winning. So you got to wonder how much, how much of these people's lives is spent clawing to win at, at any cost. I don't know, man. And, you know, there are some people out there that defend it. Um, especially people who just generally exploit and do stuff in like PVE games and, um, you know, run programs to, to gain an advantage. And the justification is it's not affecting me. Therefore, I'm not going to say anything, which is an overarching kind of a attitude that's plaguing the Internet these days. It doesn't affect me. I'm not going to say anything. As long as it's not affecting me, I'm fine. 
Yeah. That's where things start to go wrong, people. So check this story out, guys. PC Games in has the, the story. It's been all over the web. Valve banning over 60,000, guys. Over 60,000 <laughs> Steam accounts. And the previous record just got demolished. And for our next story, we're going to talk about No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Oh, man. Sky. Um, no Man's Sky had a major update called No Man's Sky Next. This has been, like, teased for weeks now. And the headliner is that, you know, it's going to finally add true multiplayer to the game, which was a big topic of controversy at launch because, you know, Sean Murray, you know, talked about multiplayer being in the game as being a very, very light part of it and how you will probably never see anybody to even play multiplayer with. So it shocked everybody that the game didn't have multiplayer when it came out. And they accused Sean of lying and there was this whole thing about negative blah, 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 blah. So you remember it all, right? Um, I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Not going to talk about that that whole controversial topic. I want to focus on this update, and then we'll come back to possibly that topic. I'll see how it goes. No Man's Sky next. This is update 1.5. Headliner updates adds co-op multiplayer. From their site at nomansky.com slash next update. Team up with a small group of friends and explore the universe together or be joined by random travelers. Help friends stay alive or prey on others to survive. Fight as a pirate or a wingman in epic space battles with friends and enemies. Okay, so that's kind of like the, the marketing paragraph or a few sentences there. Um, they've also updated the base building, which was added a couple years ago after launching. Uh, group up to build community bases, farms, and racetracks and share your creations with all players online. Explore the galaxy at your own pace and, or progress together at the very start of the game and all the way through the story. Uh, one of the big changes with this update is that you'll be able to build more than one base. You'll be able to build more than one base now, which is kind of a big deal because when the base building was introduced, you were limited to one base, which kind of put a thorn in the whole feature. It wasn't as good as it could be. Big deal is that soon after the release of No Man's Sky Next, a few weeks after, they're going to start the first season of weekly content and community events to kind of give you something to do. And they're going to have rewards and customizations as a result. It's going to be free to all players. Just what the game needs, honestly. It needs a reason to keep bringing you back because there's a ton of content in there. This is a big update, but people are going to churn through it. They're going to eat through it. I mean, gamers are hungry for content. They'll go through this stuff. Now, I'm num, 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 num. They'll go through it and just destroy it. So fresh customizations, fresh events to keep you coming back is going to be a big deal. Also, they're going to integrate with Mixer because uh, as of this release, I didn't say it, but the game will now be on Xbox One. And if, if you don't know, Mixer.com is an alternative streaming site that's out there uh, in competition with Twitch. And it has some really, really tight integrations with Xbox One since Mixer is owned by Microsoft. But they don't turn away PS4 or PC streamers or anybody like that. So they're going to be uh, adding some features to Mixer to allow you to either help or hinder the streamer. Because you guys like beating us up, don't you? <laughs> so as a result, this thing, they, they're launching a Galactus, Galactic Atlas website to track all these events and community stuff that's going to be coming out soon. A lot of more base building components have been added. So base is going to be a lot more... Uh, a lot more, I guess you can call them varied. Uh, third person view, third person view with both uh, the soldier view or the, man, or the on foot, as you call it, or and on ship, so you can fly first person view. Character customization has been added. You can you can play as the anomaly, the Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the Traveler, and they've got several different heads, torso, and armor options and colors that you can just change for free just by going to a space station. Freighters have been updated. You can assemble and upgrade a fleet of frigates, each specialized to excel in combat, exploration, trade, industry, or support. And they look really cool. Um, you can command your frigors, frigates from the bridge of your uh, freighter to complete real-time fleet missions. Call on the fleet and the space battles, blah, 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 and stuff like that. Crafting your resources, they have really, really overhauled and revamped 
just the balance of all the recipes and, and the resources. So if you played this game in the past and you come back to it now, everything's going to be different. For example, if you, you remember, you had to use plutonium to power your launcher to basically refuel your launcher so you can take off. Well, that's been replaced <laughs> with a, a launcher battery thing. It's like uh, you have to build it with uh, with a, what is it? Ferrite with a metal plate and with this this hydrogen based component. Now they've got some re uh, some what do they call them deployables where you can build these machines and you can pick them up and take them with you. Deployable tech and it can be carried in your inventory. So they're buildables and you can refine stuff. You can build blueprints. You can, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. The planets and the textures have been greatly overhauled. No, I haven't got to any opinion stuff. I'm just talking about what's in the update. Big time update to the textures and the, the planet generation and the animals are now uh, they roam in, you know, herds. Instead of just having one here and one there, you'll see big herds of animals run by. It's really, really, really different. Analysis visor enhancement. The visor, which you use to scan stuff, has been completely overhauled. Not only does it allow you to scan the animals and get their information, you can also scan plants and fauna and rocks. You can also find points of interest on the map. So you can find like things like buried, uh, buried technology. You can find tr crash pods. You can find like mineral deposits. All kinds of stuff just by using the browser. A lot has been added to missions, graphical enhancements. I talked about that, um, which is really, really nice. And more. The UI has been overhauled. I'm, I'm scrolling down as fast as I can. The space stations have been changed. Uh, the audio has been different. has been added and, and updated. There's so much. So if you go to nomansky.com slash next update, you'll see like these high level these high level uh, sections of all the things I just talked about, but at the bottom, there's like detailed patch notes. So what do I think? I streamed this game for about uh, eight hours yesterday, probably like nine hours. And I would have kept going if my internet didn't go out. Um, I, uh, I streamed from four o'clock to like 1 a.m. And at 1 a.m. my internet went out and I had no idea that the time had passed that fast. So that kind of gives you a clue to how, how I feel about the game. I titled my stream, Is It Worth $30? Because I think that was a good, not only a clickbaity <laughs> title, but it's actually what people are coming to streams to find out. Is this game worth it? Common questions were, is this game fun now? Uh, did they fix it? Is it worth the money? And I say $30 because the game is 50% off most everywhere. It's on sale. Big sale with this update. So the normal price is definitely $60. So I don't want the people to try to correct me there, but... It is now $30 as of, as of this recording, and it's going to run through July 27th for most outlets. So what do I think? It feels like a brand new game. There's some things that feel the same, but most things feel new. And that's good because they're all positive changes. Um, all those things that I, I talked about are in the game. There is no lying. There is no deception. All those things are in there, and they work as designed for the most part. There are bugs, definitely bugs. Uh, most of the, the negative stuff I've seen so far, uh, well, I didn't talk about performance. Performance has vastly improved. That was one of my dings against the game at launch. Performance has improved. One of the negative things I, I found about No Man's Sky Next was the not only the performance of co-op, but bugs in co-op. And just, just, just wishy-washy stuff. And having been in the software development field for a while, I kind of expect that this is a major new feature that has a lot of moving parts. And if you've ever developed multiplayer games, you know how many how much stuff you have to do. Um, just synchronization issues, whether it be Internet, whether it be state. Um, when, you know, someone crashes, how do you handle that? Situ how do you handle that situation? For instance, this morning I saw on the stream today um where one player they were they were on another player's freighter and the player's freighter the player who owned the freighter crashed and the other player in the group basically just fell through the ship and died now that's not very common i don't think but it's happened to more than one person also there's some issues or some some problems i should say with uh game saves i think people were reporting some issues with steam cloud 
and how saves are being handled through Steam Cloud and how it's not working as designed in most cases. Some people are getting rolled back some and some people are, you know, I haven't confirmed this, but people are claiming that they lost a lot of time, if not their entire save. So I heard that and I decided to turn off uh, Steam Cloud for now because I haven't confirmed that. But just the idea of that being a possibility kind of makes me worry a little bit. And turning off Steam Cloud is not that big of a deal. It's only if you uh, play on multiple machines or you're going to be probably deleting games quite a bit. So I just have to remind myself that uh, before I if I do decide to delete No Man's Sky to make room on my SSD, which is probably going to happen at some point, um, I need to turn Steam Cloud back on so I can synchronize that before I do so. But overall, guys, the game just got, you know, it was like over 100K viewers on Twitch. Probably getting a lot of viewership on YouTube as well. Twitter's a buzzing about it. It was on the, you know, it was on my Twitter moments. It's, it was trending. No Man's Sky, a very, very powerful and um, revigorating update. Some people are fans, I should say, are calling it the game comeback, the biggest game comeback of the ever. They're not saying of the year, they're saying ever. I don't agree with that. It is a big comeback. The Steam reviews have gone from overall mostly negative to mixed, which is kind of a huge deal given the amount of negative reviews the game received uh, during or at launch because there was a lot of issues, both with content and with performance and stability. But this is, this is, I mean, the game has had great updates since launch, and a lot of people don't talk about that because they don't really know about it. People don't follow the game that much. This is the first update where it was massively promoted by both, you know, Hello Games and the media. It was really hyped because of so much stuff that was put inside of it. Uh, and the multiplayer headline really caught people's eyes. They're like, oh, they're adding multiplayer. That's the only thing I wanted, which I don't understand personally, but... That's what people were saying. Um, so No Man's Sky next. I really like it. I'm addicted to it. Today I've been trying to... I worked on a video that uh, <laughs> is called The Adventures of the Graviton Balls. Graviton Balls are a very rare and, and valuable item in the game. And when you take them, you immediately get a grade 3 security bounty on your head. So... I put up a, like a 20 minute ish video. The original counter was about 45 minutes of me taking these graviton balls or are they called graviton. I, I, I've been calling them gravity, gravity, ton, graviton. I've been calling them all kinds of stuff. Uh, gravitino. They're called gravitino balls. And the video is called the adventures of the gravitino balls. And it tells a tale of how I could not resist the shine and luster of those gravitino balls and ended up running from the cops for almost an hour and it was some some people were calling it one of the best moments on my stream they've ever seen on my live stream there was lots of yelling so if you do watch the video turn your volume down there's lots of screaming lots of frantic statements and then there was like you'd have one minute of, of logical thinking with me i'm like man i gotta get out of here these cops are gonna kill me then i see some more gravitino balls and then all that will be erased and i'll get some more and then start this whole thing up again. It's like I wasn't thinking. Pretty hilarious. Um, and I've been trying. I, I put together that video. I took the 45 minutes and I cut it down to like 20 minutes. Most of the morning. And I was getting ready for this show. And I'm just like, I, all I can think about was No Man's Sky. Like, I, I actually want to stream now after I finish. Uh, after I finish recording this podcast. I actually want to go out and stream No Man's Sky. Because there's so much I want to do. I want to get a base built. I want to f- build a farm. Um, I want to get those upgrade going. I want to get a freighter. I want to get trade going so much. So the game's been injected with new life. Now, is everyone going to love this update? Is everyone going to, you know, going to embrace the game like a majority of people have? Absolutely not. There are people that absolutely hate Sean Murray, like physically hate him, hate him and vehemently call him a liar and that they'll never forgive such a liar and never support such a liar for what he did. This is extreme how people how far people are going. 
And there's a you know there's people that absolutely hate them, and then there's people that just they just want the game to fail. Every single bug is like amplified, and they just want they're rooting for the game to fail to just so they can say I told you so. You shouldn't support this game. How are you supporting this game? What is wrong with you? Um, and then there's some rational people out there, some logical people that are legit asking, is the game actually worth it now? Because I, I agree with a lot of assessments that the game wasn't really worth $60 at launch. I think it was a, it was an early access title uh, released on console as a full release and on PC as a full release early access. And here we are two years later with the game actually being fleshed out and complete, just like your typical early access game. So the blame game can go to Sony. The blame game can go to Sean Murray. It can go to Hello Games. It was a small team, man. Six to 12 people with all this weight on their shoulders. But the, the bottom line is today, No Man's Sky Next is out. And it has all these features. And it's very fun and very fulfilling to play. If you own the game, I highly recommend you check it out. Highly, highly recommend you check out this update. If you still feel the same way about the game, so be it. And, I, and, I, and just like I told the people on my live stream, if you're on the fence, now's the time to make a decision because the sale will not last that much longer. Get the game for 50% off now because when it goes back to full price and you're probably going to be fiending to play it again, it's going to be a harder decision. You're going to be paying twice as much. Paying twice, twice as much, so get on it right now. Also, it's on GreenManGaming.com, I think for 58% off, so it's a little bit cheaper on Green Man Gaming. So check the story out, guys. I'll link it over to nomansky.com slash next update. It has all these features laid out and the patch notes at the bottom. What a patch. What an update. It's probably the biggest, the biggest turnaround of the year, I think, of any game out there. I think they really injected life into a game that people didn't even, they forgot about. Check it out, guys. And for our final story, we're going to follow up with uh, No Man's Sky and talk about GOG.com's version of no man's sky and it was kind of a surprise to me when i read this that no man's sky on the gog platform did not have multiplayer at launch the drm drm free version which you know gog.com prides himself with will not have multiplayer a majority of the multiplayer on pc that i know of right now is on on the backs of steam it uses the steam friend to connect to people uh, i'm not sure what technology they use to find random people but this whole thing has been gutted on the GOG version. All the multiplayer, all the co-op stuff is just not there. And the game is sold for the same price, you know. And from what I saw on their page, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it anywhere, you know, announced, pre-announced. But people just didn't know. There was nowhere that said that that was gone until after the fact. Um, then there's a forum post I'm going to link you to which talks about this and that the statement that they have is that the multiplayer element of next is not yet included in the DRM free version of the game. Um, it says from launch, the DRM free version of no man's sky will include all single player content included by next third person mode, upgraded visuals, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> However, the multiplayer component will not be ready at launch. We expect it to be released later this year as full multiplayer parody remains in the pipeline. For a small independent studio, developing the feature across multiple platforms is a hugely ambitious and technical challenge, which resulted in this delayed release. Hello Games is, however, joining forces with GOG.com to introduce full multiplayer via the GOG Galaxy pl platform. We appreciate your immense support and patience. Hello Games and GOG.com team. So I read that and I go, well, why did you release it at all? Because that's the that's the, the giant question in my head. If the game's not complete, which it isn't, it's been gutted a major thing. The top headlining feature of the game, by the way, it's been gutted and you released it anyway. Same price. Why even release it? Just delay it on GOG until you get multiplayer in. Don't even bother releasing a half. It boggles the mind. A half built version of the game you're releasing and you, you're only going to patch that version later on i've never heard of anything such so 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 crazy and you got to wonder who's pushing this i mean is it hello games or is it gog or is it both I, it seems like they're really trying to get money it seems financially motivated 
that's the only reason I can think of. I think it's financially motivated to release a gutted version of the game for full price. Well, I say full price. I mean the the, the you know the going price. I believe it was fifty percent off on GOG.com as well, as it is on Steam and PS4 and Xbox One. So if you bought it on GOG expecting a DRM free version of the game, sure you got that, but you also got half the game. The bit, like I said, this is the headlining feature of this patch, multiplayer, and it's gone. I don't really get it. Uh, the good news is that GOG.com is offering refunds, I think, for up to a year. They're going to extend it up to a year. So you can get a refund if you did buy there, which is good. But again, I circle back to the question, why release it anyway? It makes me suspicious of both of these companies now, GOG.com and hello games what were you thinking to do this check it out guys over on the gog forum page where the post is they talk about this check it out for yourself let me know what you think in the comments because i don't know I, like i said i'm suspicious i mean for all the praise that i gave next and the update and what they did with the developers and stuff the gog thing is like making me go what huh it's like I was just praising you, and then you turn around and do this. Check it out, guys. The story's over there. And that concludes episode 127 of Game Chat with Born. I want to thank you all for coming by. Please, please feel free to follow the stream on my, my, my live stream at twitch.tv slash Borna. Uh, also, youtube.com slash Borna. That's where I post videos. This video every Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how, how late it goes. And uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Borna as well. We're also on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm going to be playing some No Man's Sky right after I publish this. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I got to say, it's, it's got its hooks in me. I don't know how long the hooks are going to stay in me, but right now it's got me. That's all I can think about. I want to play the game. Um, so if you want to watch me play, I may be streaming tonight, twitch.tv slash Buona. Uh, or it's probably going to reach you a little late for that. But uh, I stream daily now at 4 p.m. until... 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you're on the East Coast, you'll be able to catch me when you get off work. Central as well. I'll stream for a minimum of four hours, but I usually go about eight hours. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to be playing No Man's Sky, some Warframe. A lot of games got updated. I even want to play Fortnite Save the World because that got updated. They, they updated the game to uh, not have as much screen shake, which was giving me nausea, which is why I didn't play Fortnite Save the World. Now I want to go back and play that. Too many games. It's a good time to be a gamer. Really good time to be a gamer. Please support the stream if you can at Patreon. Patreon.com slash Buona. I'm going to be updating that page with this podcast because right now it's kind of focused on YouTube. Uh, but I am going to be updating Patreon with uh, this podcast. So if you want to support the stream monetarily, a dollar a month, five dollars a month. I think that's the highest I go is five dollars or something like that. I want to open up that option to you guys. Patreon.com slash Buona if you want to support the stream. This is my full time thing. I do this podcast. I do the live stream. I do YouTube. This is, I don't go, this, this is me going to work. I eat, sleep, and breathe content for you all. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you all next week. Game Chat Born episode 127. Bye bye, everybody, and have a great one. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And make sure you click the bell to be notified. Otherwise, you ain't gonna see this video. Wait, how did you see this video? I'm, okay. Bye.